All right, I know what everybody's thinking. Eric, another Strybog video? What in the heck, man? Haven't you made like a million Strybog videos already? Well, the answer would be, yeah, we have. But I want to make the case for this gun that I feel like this particular rig right here is pretty much the apex of the Strybog, like what, what, what it's, what it's going to be, you know what I mean? The gun was not without its teething issues. You know, the A1 version was a straight blowback. They went from the straight mags to the curved mags to the A3 version with the uh, delayed roller set up in it. Uh, now we have a legitimate SBR with the Rex Defense uh, folding stock, which is really nice. And this particular rig, I think, is pretty much the culmination of what the Strybog is going to be. This is a Glock-fed version. I'm going to shoot it for you a little bit here. We'll talk some more as we go. Good stuff. It's a sweet little rig right here. Let's do some shooting. <laughs> All right. Hope everybody's having a great day, and thanks so much for tuning back in. This is Eric here with Iraq Veteran 8888. Before we get started, I would like to thank our friends at Gun Zone Deals for providing this particular gun uh, for us to do a review on here for you today. If you do want to do business over there on Gun Zone Deals, just use the code IV8888 to receive yourself a nice little discount. They have always supported us in our efforts and they've always been kind enough to send us some stuff out to get samples here on the channel to show you guys. And that helps us out a lot. That saves us from having to buy certain guns. So. Big thanks to them for supporting our efforts and helping uh, keep us going here on the channel. So check them out, Gun Zone Deals, and a big thanks to them, of course. And look, I like the Strybog a lot. You know, the, the early versions were not without their, their little issues, but this particular version, I think they, they got everything about right where it needs to be. You do have a non-reciprocating charging handle. You have a ambidextrous safety right here, it's just one position safety. You have an ambidextrous magazine release. The bolt stop is this nice little just stamped sheet metal uh, bolt stop here that you can get to from either side of the, uh, of the gun. So this is an ambidextrous uh, slide stop. So it is, other than the ejection, it's completely ambidextrous. You have M-lock accessory slots through and throughout, a full pick rail on the top as well as the bottom. The receiver is one single extrusion with all the cuts put in it, of course. You have backup iron sights nice low profile iron sights, which admittedly are a little difficult to get to with this particular stock design. But with this Rex Defense stock, you have an adjustable comb height, adjustable length of pull, and of course, the stock folds, putting this into a nice compact setup. Now this is not the K model. They do make a version with a slightly shorter barrel than this one. I believe this is a eight inch barrel that's on this gun. The K is like a, either a five or four and a half inch barrel. It's a relatively short barrel but that's your nice little compact package, okay? So the stock folds. Of course, this one is set up with the Glock Magwell. We have a variety of different Glock magazines we're gonna be testing out, as well as some carry ammo and some subs. Let's try some subsonic ammo. This is a Glock 24 round OEM magazine, and this is Remington uh, 147 grain subsonic nine millimeter ammunition. See how this thing sounds with subs with this short barrel. This should be nice. Oh, and the suppressor that we're running is a Griffin Armament Rev 9. A uh, big shout out to Griffin Armament. They're a big supporter of the channel and thanks to them for keeping us in all the cans. This one is in the K configuration. Okay, let's have some fun. I'm gonna put a few in the dirt back there. Let's see how this thing sounds. I'm just gonna bounce that rock around back there. <laughs> All right, plate. Mag drop free real nice. All right, some more subs, same magazine. After this mag, we're gonna run over to some carry ammo and try some Golden Saber uh, hollow points through this thing. Really easy gun to shoot, super light recoil, really nice trigger. It's a single stage trigger, 
probably breaks at around five pounds or so. Uh, I believe we did try this on the trigger pull gauge. It's about a five pound trigger. Certainly capable of good work. We're not shooting ridiculously far, but inside of 70 yards, this thing is great. All right, all right, mags drop free, that's nice. That's one thing on the early Strybogs that I wasn't a big fan of, was that those early mags, you had to kind of pull them out and physically remove them. They didn't drop free that well, so that seems like that's something they really fixed here with the Glock-fed version. So again, this is the SP9A3, which means it's a roller blowback. The G designation means, of course, Glock-fed. I think this is kind of the culmination of like what this gun was meant to be, in my opinion. And it's a shame that we have these laws with SBRs and stuff because there is no reason why every single person shouldn't have something like this in their house to defend themselves, especially if you've got a younger person with maybe not as much upper body strength to handle a full-size rifle, or maybe your wife wants to shoot something that's a little lighter weight uh, or lighter recoil, or maybe you want something lighter recoil. So the nice thing about the recoil impulse on a gun like this is it's so ridiculously smooth and you have such fast follow-up shots that it's a tremendous amount of firepower on tap and there's just no way you're going to be able to shoot a handgun at least an average person now there's probably competitors that are really good with handguns that can shoot fast splits like what i'm doing out to distance but for us mere mortals um, having a pcc is definitely a game changer for you know getting that close in work with a pistol round very efficient and accurate and fast Golden Sabre 124 grain plus P ammunition. We're going to try some of this out. This is a Glock factory model 17 magazine. Let's give it a try. Okay, we're going to take out some Sodi Pops. All right, here we go. I'm going to take them all out. <laughs> all right, gopher. Wow. All right, so I wanna share an interesting result there. We had a failure to feed. All right, let's try to get rid of these last two rounds. Okay, I had a failure to feed there with that Golden Saber. Well, not long ago, in fact, in the same day, you're probably watching these videos slightly apart, but we just did a video on the rifle version of this particular gun, the full length version, and we had the same exact stoppage uh, in the same exact magazine, in two different guns, with the same exact round in the same exact order in the magazine. It was the third round from the last round that, that failed to feed in both guns with that same load. So that's actually a really good result because that tells us that we could have a feeding issue as a result of the shape or cut on that particular carry load. So that's really good data for us. Now, the thing is like when you're running carry ammo, in your PCC, um, any type of hollow point. You always wanna buy a quantity of that hollow point ammunition and test it out in the gun before you tr trust your life to it because some guns might be a little finicky. Some types of ammo may not wanna run through certain guns, right? Certain magazine brands might be a little bit more finicky in a certain gun with certain ammo. So you always have to control every variable. When you change a variable, you must then test that variable to make sure you haven't added something into the equation that is going to cause some sort of an issue. So that's actually a good result for us because that tells us that uh, the Strybogs may not like the Remington Ultimate Defense Ammunition. That's not a dig on the Remington ammo. It just means that that particular load may not be preferred by these guns. So a good result nonetheless. All right, now we're going to add another variable. We've got a PMAG 27 round Glock magazine. This is the first PMAG that we've ran. Up to this point, these have all been Glock OEM magazines. So let's try out a PMAG. Okay, beautiful. Nice gun, gentle recoil impulse, ridiculously accurate, easy to shoot. <laughs> Very nice. That didn't lock uh, the bolt to the rear that particular time. A little gassy on rapid fire. And now granted, 
I'm also getting some kind of widespread because I'm trying to shoot really fast and I'm probably not as accurate as I could be. I've got a few groups opening up a little bit, but if I take my time, this thing will absolutely peg. In fact, all right, we got a four inch by four inch. The head on that D28, those are shoot steel D28s. The head on those targets are four inch by four inch. I'm just gonna take my time and take this mag and I'm gonna put every single round into the head of that gong and I'm not gonna miss a single time. Can I do it? We'll see. Now there's already a few shots on there, but let me get on it. So this is about 40 yards. There's a four by four at 40 yards. Offhand, the optic that I'm using, it's worth noting, um, this is a PA MD25 with the ACSS um, CQB reticle. So this is a really nice red dot. All right, <clears throat> and it's also a red dot that kind of fits this, the vibe of this gun in terms of the price and configuration. You know, this is a mid-tier gun in terms of the cost. These optics are definitely kind of in that mid-tier. Like, they're not super cheap, but they're not expensive either. So I thought it would be a good combination for this gun. All right, four by four. Easy, baby, we got it. <laughs> All right, other than me, the gun's delivering the goods. So you can see it's quite accurate. I probably pulled a few of those shots. Really fun stuff, you know. I wanted to make a quick video here about this particular SBR. The Strybog is an awesome gun. I mean, about the only thing we could really do at this point with a gun like this would be to maybe get a machine gun pack for it or try to convert a lower to a, you know, we are a manufacturer. It might be cool to convert one of these and see how it runs as a sub gun, especially with that delayed blowback. You've got a proper stock. You know, you've got a, a decent setup in terms of the weight. Like it's not a super light gun, but it's also, it's not super heavy. Like it, it's, it's a little heavier than a Scorpion, uh, a little heavier than MP5, but certainly lighter than AR. So that kind of gives you a bit of an idea where it sits in terms of the weight, but it's very controllable, very smooth shooting. And uh, I'm always excited to get a rig like this out and show off here for you on the channel. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. This has been the Strybog SP9A3G <laughs> SBR. It's quite a mouthful for the uh, model number, but really cool stuff. Uh, made in Slovakia, Grand Power imports them, really cool stuff. Again, uh, make sure you check out Gun Zone Deals and use the code IV8888 for a nice little discount there if you want to do business with them. Uh, we'd support, you know, what they're doing. They support us. So big shout out to them for helping us out here on the channel. So many more videos on the way. We'll see you soon.